Hello there. I'm going to show you a cool way to use Google Slides and also Google Drawings. I'm going to show how you can respond to students' work in a fun way. And it doesn't have to just be typing. It can be a picture of you with a little comment bubble. Okay, now let me show you how to do that. First, you go to My Drive and you're going to create a Google Drawing. So you go down to More and Google Drawings. That's going to open up a blank one, and I labeled this one Canned Responses. Okay, here are a few of my canned responses already. So I've got a great answer, perfect. I've never watched it. That was an individual assignment that somebody said a TV show they were watching because they were above the line. So that's a personal one. So let me show you how to do this. I'm on a slide. Now this is what we've been sharing with second graders for their assignment for the day. So here I've got seven slides with foundations, their math in it, and this is a little writing journal that asks whether they're feeling above the line, which means they're feeling good, or below the line, which they're not feeling so great. Here's this person's response. I'm feeling above the line today because I helped my mom make breakfast this morning. I poured the cereal into the bowls and got the spoons ready. Now let's say you love that response. It's great. It's got some detail. It's got punctuations. It's got capitals. You're feeling good about it. So you're going to go up to your canned responses and maybe pick great answer. So I'm going to click that one and push control C and copy it. I'm going to go down here and push control V. And now you've got a cool little response. Let me grab the arrow that you can put onto someone's answer. And you can always change it. You can modify this so it says something different besides great answer. Okay, so that's what I mean. But here, let's go to Google Drawings and actually make one. So first, you have to have a camera set up. And you might have to enable flash. So I'm going to go to Insert Image Camera. And it's going to bring up your camera. Okay, now I can't bring up my camera because I'm using my camera right now. So you would just take a picture and it would come up. Okay, let's say, I'm going to ungroup this for a minute. Arrange, ungroup. Okay, so I've got this. Let's say I took that picture. I got this into a circle by clicking on it and getting double clicking and getting this black kind of box going to crop and I made it into a different shape like you could do that shape but that's kind of strange so I just did the oval shape like that or the circle shape okay so that's how you crop it and make it a picture now you're gonna go up to shapes and I did callouts callouts gives you like a little speech bubble so let's say I want to do that one. I'm going to hold shift. Holding shift just keeps it all the same size. I'll sh if you don't hold shift, it can kind of get weird like this. So if you hold shift, it keeps it that size. Um, so let's say I want that speech bubble there. I'm going to change the inside. I'd like to do the gradient one. Let's say I'll do yellow this time. That's too dark for my liking. Let's do that one. The border color you can change. Let's say I want bright green. Let's say I want it a little thicker. Okay, and now let's go to the writing part. I'm still going to keep it black. I'm going to make it much bigger, maybe 30. And let's go with um, the Acme one. Okay, so now say I want this one. And let's say, let's take another look at that one. Okay, so that may be in the case somebody got one wrong. Okay, but right now, these are not grouped together. I can move them around, which isn't what I want. So I'm going to hold shift and click both bubbles. Then I'm going to go to arrange and go down to group. 
that groups it as one thing. So now I can slide this around as one thing and it's not going to move one. Okay, so there I just made a response. Okay, you see that? That's an issue you might run into. So I'm going to bring that over to the side. Maybe. There we go. Okay, say I want to copy that one. I'm going to push Control C. I'm going to go back to the student's drawing, or, um, slide and go down to this odd and even. Now, all these are right except for this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That is an even number. So I'm going to put one of my canned responses. I'm going to use that one, which I just copied, and do Control V. Okay, and that can show you which one. And maybe you could do this as well. I'm going to do another shape and do an arrow. I'm going to do one right there. I'm going to kind of angle it. I'm going to make it yellow and say that. All right, let's take another look at that one. So maybe you could explain why it might be the wrong answer or kind of clue them in. Okay, so that's one way to use that. I hope that helps with Google Drawings and Google Slides. I know a lot of people are having trouble with um, how do I respond to my students. This is a kind of fun way where they get to see your face and you can kind of be cool with it, have fun, and the kids love that. Okay? Hope that helps. Bye.